I've suffered from anxiety and depression for most of my adult life. I've experienced betrayal trauma so deep, I didn't know if I would ever be able to trust again. There are moments when I thought the only way out was to unalive myself, but somehow I made it through. Not because I became someone different, but because I realized something powerful. The key wasn't to change who I was, but to remember who I've always been. I am. What if I told you that everything you're looking for, peace, joy, love, success, is already within you? It's not about achieving more, fitting into society's definitions, or ticking off boxes. It's about realizing the truth of who you are. That's what this series is about. Uncovering the truth that you are already enough. And that no matter what you've been through, no matter how many times adversity shows up in your life, you can still live with joy and peace. Let me tell you a bit about why this matters so much to me. Most of my life, I've carried the weight of anxiety and depression. These weren't just fleeting moments of sadness. They were debilitating. The kind of anxiety that keeps you awake at night. The kind that makes you feel like there's a weight on your chest every single day. The depression that whispers that maybe the world would be better off without you. It's a darkness I know all too well. And then there's the betrayal trauma. That deep, gut-wrenching pain that comes when the people you trust the most turn their backs on you. Feels like your heart is shattered into a million pieces. And you're left picking up the fragments, wondering if you'll ever be whole again. But here's the truth. I'm still here. Not because I ignored the pain or pushed through like some kind of superhero, but because I started to understand something deeper about myself. I realized that my worth wasn't dependent on my circumstances, my pain, or even my mental health struggles. I am. I am more than the labels of anxiety, depression, trauma, or betrayal. And that realization has been the foundation for everything that followed. Now you might be wondering what exactly is self-realization and why does it matter? Let me explain. Self-realization is about discovering the core truth of who you are beyond all the noise. It's about seeing yourself not just as the person who has gone through hardship, but as the awareness behind it all. It's recognizing that you are not defined by your circumstances, your past, or even your thoughts. You are the observer, the I am that exists behind all of it. Here's where neuroscience... Here's where science, per se, backs it up. It's the neuroscience and self-awareness. Studies show that practices like mindfulness and meditation physically change the brain. Neuroplasticity allows the brain to rewire itself, increasing gray matter in areas responsible for emotional regulation and self-awareness. Harvard Medical School research has proven that these practices reduce anxiety, depression, and stress. Trauma and healing. Research by Bessel van der Kolk in The Body Keeps the Score shows that trauma is stored in the body and that healing comes when we become aware of it. By witnessing our suffering without becoming consumed by it, we allow space for that healing. The simple act of witnessing rather than judging our pain begins to change the way we interact with it. And then mindfulness-based stress reduction. Developed by John Kabat-Zinn, this approach has shown in multiple studies to reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression. And the practice teaches us to become aware of our thoughts and feelings without being controlled by them. Self-realization isn't just a spiritual concept. It's a biologically transformative process. And it's the reason I was able to pull myself out of the darkest moments of my life. The more I practiced awareness, the more I began to feel something else beneath the pain. Peace. Here's what I've learned. Adversity doesn't show up once in your life. It's not like you get one big challenge and then whoop, you're done. Adversity comes in waves. 
Sometimes it feels like the hits just keep on coming and you wonder if you'll ever get a break. I faced multiple waves of betrayal, personal attacks, and financial hardship. And every time it felt like life was trying to knock me down, I was reminded of one thing. I am. I am the awareness that sees the challenge, and I am the one who chooses how to respond. This is the key. It's not about avoiding adversity or pretending it's not there. It's about seeing it for what it is. A part of the journey, but not the end of the story. Even when life brings you to your knees, you can still find peace and joy. Not in spite of the adversity, but because you're no longer defining yourself by it. So here's how we do it. Release societal labels. Success isn't about meeting society's expectations. It's not about having the perfect job, house, or relationship. Those things can bring happiness, but they're not the source of lasting joy. Joy comes from within, from realizing that you are enough exactly as you are. You're not your job title, your bank account, or your relationship status. You are the awareness that experiences all of it without being consumed by it. Embrace the practice. It's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that once you've had a self-realization, everything will be smooth sailing. But the truth is, this is a daily practice. Through journaling, meditation, and coaching, you create a space for yourself to come back to your truth every day. One of the biggest myths about happiness is that it comes from external achievements but the peace and joy I found didn't come from fixing my life circumstances. They came from changing the way I related to them. Journaling became a powerful practice for me. It was through writing that I learned to witness my suffering instead of judging it. I began to see my thoughts and emotions for what they were, temporary. Temporary experiences, not defining features of who I am, who I was. (laughs) Meditation was another game changer. By sitting with myself in silence, I learned to quiet the noise of my mind and tap into something deeper. A sense of peace that was always there, just waiting for me to notice it. So here's the message I want to leave with you. You are not your suffering. You are the one who witnesses it. You are not your past, your trauma, or your failures. You are the I am. Even when adversity shows up multiple times in your life, you can still find peace. You can still live with joy and not just survive, but thrive in ways you never thought possible. So I invite you to start this journey with me. Take the first step whether it's through journaling, meditation, or working with me, begin to explore the truth of who you are. Begin to understand that you are already enough. The I Am series is about guiding you to that realization and helping you build practices that will keep you grounded in that truth, no matter what life throws your way. Before we close, take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold. And exhale. Now say to yourself, I am enough. I am peace. I am joy. Love and light.